In the year 1949, there is a big fuss about a man called Bruno Gröning, who is known in the media as the miracle healer. Thousands of people go to see him in various German cities. There are continual reports about new, unbelievable healings. Even people diagnosed as incurable swear by his healing power. Some call him a messiah, others a charlatan. I was in Rosenheim today at the Traberhof. You won't believe what was going on there. There were thousands of people and Gröning. Oh, God, that Gröning. Are you going to start with that again? There were so many sick people there in wheelchairs and on stretchers, and suddenly, suddenly, some of them stood up. Oh, no, stop it. One of the people lying on a stretcher got up and said, I'm well, I'm well. And at that moment, the paralysis was gone. It went away within half an hour. Then I tried to straighten my arm, which had been like that for years, and it became straight. In that moment, all the pain was gone. It was something completely different that I just never experienced before and couldn't fit into my existing knowledge. When the medical profession takes a stand and regards this phenomenon with skepticism, Gröning is prohibited from healing. In spite of the prohibition, more and more seekers of healing came from afar. The pressure on the authorities by those people who were in profound physical and emotional misery became stronger and stronger. In fact, Gröning is charged with having continued to practice healing without permission and thereby with having violated the healing practitioner law. Reports appear continually after it becomes known that he is going to be put on trial. A regular battle of the medical physicians is started by the Gröning phenomenon. They don't know what to make of the happenings. Gröning always emphasizes that God is the greatest physician and that there is no such thing as incurable. What counts for him are the commandment of charity and the realization that he should not listen to man, but only to God.